Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is what is today? Let me look at my phone, and see what. No, it's Tuesday after Labor Day. Uh, it's May the 28th. There we go. We're back in the garden today. My last update was last Friday when I dug up a few potatoes. As of today, I still haven't uploaded that video. We, uh, I done it Friday, got up the lake. We, we took some time, went to the river wife and I and Buster. There's old Buster Clyde over there. How you doing this morning, Buster? Oh, he's ready. We running a little bit late this morning. We slept a little late cause of, we're just tired. I mean, we come in last night, seven o'clock, unpacked, started washing. I don't know how you can go somewhere and relax all weekend and come home tired, but that's about how it worked out. Had a good rain while we was up there, get back. I mean, the corn's done come up another 18 inches. Uh, we'll just do a little walk through. Uh, it's kind of good to see. It sure is. It's pretty. But okra's coming up good. Uh, potatoes, they're starting to die back a little bit. So I, I could see maybe before the week's over, uh, bringing the potato plow through here and turning them over. I'm gonna give them a little while. Something got in the garden and took some of these okra heads off. I'm not sure what that's all about. The corn and the beans, they're just, uh, they're just going wild over here. And uh, that's kind of how I've left them. This old Jimmy Red down here, it's, it's on up there. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Loving it. We'll walk around by the cucumbers and see what they're looking like. And that's the row I planted late. I wouldn't say it's quite caught up, but it's a, it's growing. The cucumbers are trellising up pretty good. Uh, Got to pick the squash. It started growing while we was uh, at the lake, and there's a bunch of squash down there. It's just. You know, I'm gonna pull it and throw it away. But I I know I say tonight the wife and I are gonna be eating fresh squash out of the garden. Old Buster Clyde just don't know what he's missing. Hmm. Although it's rain, this side up here looks like it's starving for water. But you get down here, it looks like it's starting doing real well. But yeah, we've got some we've just let go too far. You know, once squash grows, I tell you what, it it will. Uh, you got to pick it every day. I mean, for a while, you got to pick squash every day. And we'll go down here. Yeah, super sweet's coming back. I'm feeling good about it. I don't see that any of them I transplanted actually died. Cucumbers, they trellising up good. Ah. storm come through Saturday night it laid a bunch of it down but it come back up there ain't nothing to worry about all right there you go that's a little walk through of my garden didn't take you over the sunflower patch but it's a growing on up some 
<sighs> I reckon my next step is go get me a basket and uh, and pick that squash. And also this morning when I went through the orchard area over there, I picked me a nice uh, palm full of blueberries and enjoyed them on my walk. And uh, yeah, tomatoes, well, they're, they're another, they're a foot higher, which I'm gonna get over and work on some of the strings. There was a couple of them plants that I honestly didn't think they was gonna make it. And now they done, they done grew two foot higher and laying down. So I'm gonna go string a couple of plants I didn't string before. And uh, just keep everything going. It'll be the top of that trellis before you know it. And uh, well, let's we'll go over and take a look at them. There we go, there's the tomatoes. Yeah, they were almost six foot tall. Now they almost seven foot tall. Now, right there is my biggest tomatoes I got growing. Uh, at least I think. This is like a little jungle. Peppers. They are doing good. Now, these here just turned into little bushes. You know, all I've ever seen are huge, huge leaves. Look at that stuff. Yeah, it says they're bale, but they look just totally different from the other bale. And I didn't plant any. Well, these are probably going to be jalapenos, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, it says bale. But I know that ain't going to be no bale. Hmm. All right, we're looking good. Let's see. So I got any little peppers coming in. I got one right there. Oh, I gotta get these things in here and tie them to my little cage there to give them a little support. That wind kind of gave them heck yesterday. It's all laid back. Uh, no potatoes, they just grow them plumb out the top. Oh yeah, this is one of them that just laid down on me because I didn't have it tied up. And then here's the other one I, we just didn't think was going to make it. And it's a, it's a looking pretty good. I'm going to string it. These brandy boys, they are turning into a serious looking little tomato plant. Pretty big old leaves on these things. All right, that is my garden update. So my next thing to do is go up the house. I'm gonna get me a little long sleeve shirt and a basket and go pick that squash. And I'm gonna get in the shop and do some things. I'll tell you what, been gone a couple of days. <laughs> it's, well, it's three days, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And this thing like you show up kind of behind. But that's all right, we've shown enough and enjoyed the time off. So let me get busy and get a few things done. It's going to be a busy, busy week. Thanks for watching. Like and share. All right. All right. Just thought I'd chime back in here and just show you my basket of squash I picked. I mean, that's the first picking of the season. And, and uh, we good. There's some of them in here I'll throw away. You know, I guess in here it's... It probably still be good and tender, but it's a little on the naughty side. And we just got too much, just pretty choice ones in here. Just grade A, the field like this right here, you know. Hey, it's just, we just chunk it off out there. There's another or two. All right, I'm gonna go wash this stuff up in my little old outdoor sink over here. And I then take it up the house for the for the wife and I guarantee you we'll be chopping up onions and boiling us some squash this afternoon. So I just want to chime in for that little old, uh, one minute update on what I got picked here. We will touch base with you later.